Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX in this Gothic 2 New Balance mod. Today we're going to be doing the next Merchant's Guild quest and let's see what it is. Here we are hey. with Lutero and we're going to ask him another if there's assignment. another errand. Yes, I really do need and this one is called Antiques. Customers has placed an to be Why me? And this one is related to Gomez's curse. So, this is basically Antiques and Gomez's curse. And we're going to have to go directly to Valley of Mines, to the castle, and ask Gomez about a certain uh, objects that we need to find. There are three Antiques, and they're all guarded by him. But for him to give us the key to the chest, we need to get... Uh, certain things done so we're gonna go to the castle of valley of mines we're gonna go up here to the towards the tallest uh, tower we're gonna destroy Gomez's curse corpse and we're gonna talk to Gomez's ghost So, what do you know about marble figurines and antiques, of course? What we need to do is release him from go from his curse. So, Gomez gives us this note, which we need to read. But it doesn't do anything. Why? Because there is a certain procedure that we need to do. Let's check what it is. So, Gomez's curse. In order to lift Gomez's curse, I need to do three things. First, we need to pray for the soul of the Ore Baron to all three gods, which are in us, Beliar, and Athanos. And to do this, the easiest way, we're going to start with Beliar. Xardas' tower has one of these statues in the uh, upper floor. Once we get there, we just uh, go upstairs. I think this one's the easiest to find. And we're going to pray for Gomez's soul. Second, we're going to go to the south gate of Corinus. And we're going to ask Vatras for his help as well. Um... I need, I need the blessing, the blessing of Adonis. I wanted Adonis to grant forgiveness to one of the rest. Adonis. Yes. So Vatras gives uh, a prayer for Gomez's soul through Adonis because they do not have their own shrine. That's me. And the last shrine is right here. It's Inos's yeah. shrine. Ah, uh, you need a hundred karma for that as well. But it doesn't take it away, apparently. Okay. Next. We have to go to the old mine. In the Valley of Mines, we're going to go to New Camp, which is the closest to the old mine. We're going to have to get rid of a lot of undead. But before we get rid of certain undead, we have to talk to them and... Uh, get approval for Gomez's soul from at least 10 of them. I think there's a total of 15, but you only need 10. So I haven't been here yet. I just cleared out the front area, but I haven't opened the gate. So I haven't been inside. Everything is still teeming with the undead. And they're gonna start attacking me right away. Now, if you see uh, ghost miners, don't attack them right away. Clear everything else first, though. So you don't... Uh, so you don't get bothered by those ones. You talk to the ghost miner. And you ask him for forgiveness. And then he becomes... Uh, he becomes attackable. And uh, you can continue. You can also get a lot of uh, magical ore here, even from the chests. There we go. I think there's like three chests here, indeed. 
Let's see how much ore we get. We get nothing here, three magic ore here, and three magic ore here. It's something. Not a quite a lot, considering how often they were uh, extracting ore from here. We get rid of the demon. And there's another ore miner here, it's a ghost miner. And you do the same thing. You talk to him first, and then you get rid of us. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I get at least 10. One eternity later. After you've obtained the forgiveness of the last ghost, which is number 10, or in my case, I just do all 15 for extra experience, you can return to the castle of the Ore Barons. You summon the ghosts of the uh, killed fire mages by Gomez in the uh, chapel right here on the pentagram. So you read Gomez's note and the um, former fire mages just spawn out of nowhere. You can only talk to Coristo, by the way. And you can tell them like what is what you were. If you were a mercenary in the new camp, then it gives you another achievement. In the new camp. Oh, yes. Loyalty to tradition. I, I, but... And then you ask him for help. As the... Which is forgiveness of Gomez. But... And for this, you're going to have to clear out a cave that's near Xardas' tower. So I'm going to go to the old tower. I'm going to cross this bridge. We're going to have to come back here again once we are doing the unlimited power quest. But for now, we're just doing this one. We're going to have to clear out the cave of all undead. Just putting up a light so I can see better. Going to get our crate out. And we're just going to stroll down uh, this crypt. There's nothing special about it, really, uh, when you're doing this quest. But when you're doing the unlimited power quest, there will be a special someone waiting for you at the end. Let me see how many of them are here. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, quite a few zombies. And... Uh, I think there's even a mini boss before the main gate. I have managed to make 10,000 arrows in the meantime. And that's the Dark Reaper that we're gonna put our uh, crate on passive mode. And we're just gonna kill him from distance. And he will carry the key to that big gate behind us. Even though we just have to use a winch to use it. It's going to be two more skeleton servants guarding it. Then we can open it. And a few more undead waiting for us behind the gate. As well as another boss. His name is... Um, I can't remember, honestly. Oh yeah, and of course there's going to be a ghost. I'm going to just switch to my maple bow. Because maple bow does damage to ghosts not a lot but it's better than nothing and he's trapped kind of funny that was a waste of arrows but i don't mind uh let's go back to our normal bow and we're gonna get mirugal miragul out of our sight And he's dead. There you go. Simple as that. You can also uh, check out the rest. But I'm going to save that for another time. I think this is what the fire mages wanted. Let's just check. It's time go to go back to Caristo. Indeed. Doesn't work when the undead is attacking you. Of course not. <clears throat> Go to the Valley of Mines again. 
here we are going to Caristo on top of the chapel. The crypt is cleared and Gomez's curse is now left. Gomez go Even though I would never forgive him. <laughs> But I guess they wanted to implement that into the mod, which is kind of a, an interesting thing to do. <clears throat> so we tell Gomez now that his curse has been lifted. And he gives us a, he gives us a key to this chest. We're gonna we're gonna find the three marble statues of Enos. Once you're done with that, you can return to Lutero in Corinus. And receive your reward. I think this is the longest quest by Lutero, but it's also um, the funnest and most memorable. I think he's still outside at this time, sitting on a bench. I brought the Nardmarsk statuettes. Just all three. Incredible! You did it. Yes, sir. you helped me. And on. All right, and then there's going to be one more quest, which we're going to do in another video. Um, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.